Morning folks, uh, right back to watercolour after a couple of days fiddling around with that large oil painting or large-ish oil painting. <coughs> I, I uh, revised, if you've seen the trailer to it, I did revise it, I changed the, so I'll show you, I changed the house because it didn't come, it didn't look asymmetric, well it looked asymmetrical this roof was longer than that it was meant to be there's houses in norfolk a lot of them have got a sloping roof then it slopes again out but maybe it's not quite an angle there but uh, that that was my revision and i posted a photo, a photograph of it on uh, facebook uh, right i'll get you into a, a traditional lake scene water one mountain hake another large hake frank Clark Hake, inch and a half. This one does different things to this one. This has got a lovely straight, flat, straight, level chisel edge. This one slightly curves, so not so good for doing linear work, but great for texture and great brush. And one of his, his three quarter inch, uh, this little small Hake. This is a very, very good brush. It's, it does lovely things. It's controllable as well. Plus the uh, number three rigger. It's got a, it's got a lovely, you know, lovely sharp point. So I'll use the, I'll use the uh, Frank's one. Uh, oh, well, I've got some paint out, isn't it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've changed my setup for this. So <clears throat> I, I, I use a boxies or a Mabeth boxies or the very good quality. I've had it for years. And I put it on a table, on a makeshift uh, roller table. It's on a sort of like a cupboard door on the top of it. We I'll put the laptop on as well so I can monitor what I'm doing because this records straight onto the computer. Uh, I found out that when I drop the front legs, the two legs at the front down, it's exactly the same height as the top of the table. So I can bring my, my easel out over it a bit and have somewhere to put my legs, if need be, on my feet. So I'm quite chuffed with that. Chuffed, that's pleased. Um, right, so uh, let's just start. I've put a, a raw sienna sky in. I usually wet the paper first, but I'm going to get a nice wash for it. So I can do the wetting at the same time. But you need a lot of a lot of paint mixed up and what I put in the sky I put in the water this doesn't hold quite as much water as the Ron Ranson one that we normally use but I'll use I'll use it for any calligraphy I need to do okay nice and wet now we'll put in a bit of a, a bit of blue. Let's put that in at the same time. And then we'll have a bit of grey paint. There we go. More blue. And then I put a horizon. I don't usually, but I tend to go uphill and see my new friend, or well, Frank Clark, does the same. I, he doesn't show once he's painted on, so there's something there. Okay, I've got over the horizon. Right, that'll do. Maybe a little bit of a bit darker over that top all right okay we'll give it a dry we clip the paper first clean the brush and i'll mute the sound and hopefully remember to unmute it 
I think I prefer to wet. Oh. I think I prefer to wet the paper first. I think I on so because it the right sort of cons consistency. That's not a very good sky, is it? So we'll persevere with it. Right, I'll put some uh, some hills hills in, distant hills. Same colour, just a little bit darker. Uh, with a bit of raw finish, you know, underneath all that. And along there, we put some trees and stuff. So a bit, bit of burnt sienna, a bit of, bit of pains. Just run it along there. A bit of green, I think. Oh, what is here? The thing with painting, as you've no doubt found, is that you can always spend money. Oh, I'll try this, or I'll try that. Oh, I'm running out of that. Now, I'm using quite thick paint now. So that will register on the wet paper. Back to that. Otherwise, if you put weak paint on weak paint, it uh, just disappears. And always a chance of getting a cauliflower too. No, a bit, a bit wet. Probably a bit too close to the microphone now. But there isn't a zoom, a good zoom on this webcam. Although the picture quality, if I get it right, is really good. But the sound does leave a bit to be desired. Okay, I'm going to paint over a lot of that. Some nice autumn colours over there. Right, okay, so that's uh, that's a start. Yeah, I think when I use the, the Rob Ranson Haker, I do prefer it, but then I spent years with it. Well, Frank Clark is a very, very good demonstrator. His films are very delightful to watch, but they're professionally made for, for mainstream television in Ireland. Okay, so let's let's put in a little bit of red, a bit of a bit of blue, a bit of a bit of this, a bit of that. Island here. Not an island here, but some uh, marsh grasses. Uh, it's raining. Been out on my bike this morning. My my little lovely little micro has got a, a fault on the blinker. It's on the blink. You put the brake on, the, the, the blinker stops working at the back and it goes at double speed for the, the rest of them. A bit annoying. My next door is uh, 
the main the manager of a couple of main dealer Toyota garages and he's taken it in there so it's more than just a bulb failure or something it's so any of you micro owners is seven eight years old it's only got 20,000 miles on the clock or 22 I got it because I borrowed a neighbor's micro and that's the wife's car it's uh that's over 20 years old and that is still running it's getting a bit rusty here and there but it's still running and doing lots of miles and I borrowed it when we had a Renault that got written off last year and my pal next door gave me or got for me this lovely little micro sat and having all that and it's the only problem I've had it's electrical it's it's uh, short, shorting out somewhere because the <laughs> when the light at the back goes out the flasher at the back goes out the, the uh, flasher goes on to the uh, onto the tail tailgate light the front and the side sort of indicates are okay how any micro micro owners out there got any ideas or well, those electricians should be able to sort it out for a price okay let's, let's get, get some greens in there flick out this is a cheap fabriano or the relatively cheap fabriano that's uh Put in a bit of, bit of rocky stuff in there. Just, just try and red, light red, and uh, and paint because that will lift out and show. All right, I'll do some texturing in there. There's my card. Card. All right. Take some of that into the uh, water. Then we'll do a bit of bit of texturing. Uh, so autumn colours. I wouldn't brush too sloppy. It's got a nice feathery end. It's a bit of green. Oh, those lovely grasses. And what you put the bath put below. We got some shadow in there now. Dark green. Okay. I'll never do that. I'll go somewhere else now. I'll just carry on with that texture over here. So 
turn it off turn that off stage let's get a little bit of that greeny stuff in and just a bit more solid okay all right i haven't finished that tree yet i'm going to dry it off and uh, just do some calligraphy oh that's quite heavy shower uh, dry I mute the sound right um, I'm going to strengthen up here I want some green uh, coastal stuff, coastal um, terrain here. I'll use a bit of this, a bit of burnt, burnt umber, why not? Just a bit of paint. I don't use a lot of burnt umber, so I'm just put that with it. I want my tree to grow out of that. Sorry, it's dark. Excuse me. Try again. Now with the uh, with the Ron Ranson hike, dip in water and start calligraphying. All right, just a bit of greeny stuff. Quite a dark green for the trunks. Oh, that's just. You, you can't do that with, with the other one. It's just, just round. And so this is a particularly great one for doing it. Bones on. over here and there it just reminds me of the uh, bit of the coast on Hailing Island which is down near Portsmouth the south coast all right clean that and clean the large one that's the one I want to use but I'm just going to give that another another quick dry. Ah, right. Uh, all I've done. I, I forgot to unmute the sound. I've just put these in. You saw that. There's no nothing. You haven't missed anything. But I'm going to mute you now because I want to dry that. Okay, oh, it's quite a bit of nice heavy stuff now. So, so a bit of the uh, sienna and a bit of the panes. I mean, it's a lovely, lovely brush for this. A bit darker.
the shadow side. Nice bit of shadow in there. Okay, let's just Okay, right, I'm not too displeased with that. Just put a bit of texture on that there and there. Or marsh grass, anyway. Yeah, see, that's lovely, lovely for that. Probably got a bit heavy with that tree now. Never mind. In the brush, don't mix the uh, white with you, oh, the gouache with your ordinary colours because it will make them opaque. I'm just going to just put a little faint. Right, okay, that'll do. Um, provoker. I'm just done about just to open up a little bit. To keep looking, to make sure I've unmuted you. Mm, fella. Clean bird. Rain coming down there. Oh, I've dropped. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do any more to that uh, lake, Lakeland scene. Oh, other than probably probably a bit of darkish we go in here okay I'll put a signature on it if it's worth it that uh, Doing gouache. Lovely little uh, brush list this one. Okay, paints down. I will put a mount on it. There. 
ましょうね。Okay, let's just come out of that bit. I can't. I'll just raise you up. The title of the song. There we are. Lakeland, bit of a disaster down here. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Do remember that um, <clears throat> when you do your glasses like that, bring them down as well as up, and that show the reflection. <clears throat> no one, one to be getting on with. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>